Hello, gamers. Today, I'm going to introduce the game Spider-Man. Return of the Sinister Six is an action platformer video game developed by BITS and published by LJN for the Nintendo Entertainment System NES. Released in 1992, the game is based on the popular Marvel Comics character Spider-Man and pits him against the villainous Sinister Six, a group of six of his deadliest enemies. The game follows Spider-Man as he battles his way through various levels, each culminating in a boss fight against one of the Sinister Six members. Gameplay In Spider-Man, Return of the Sinister Six, players control Spider-Man as he attempts to stop the Sinister Six from carrying out their evil plans. The game is a side-scrolling platformer with a focus on combat and exploration. Spider-Man can jump, punch, and use his web-slinging abilities to navigate through levels and defeat enemies. Key gameplay elements include platforming and exploration. Players guide Spider-Man through six levels, each designed around a different member of the Sinister Six. The levels are filled with obstacles, enemies, and traps that Spider-Man must overcome by using his agility, while crawling, and web-swinging abilities. The platforming can be challenging, requiring precise jumps and careful timing. Combat Spider-Man faces a variety of enemies throughout the levels, including thugs, robots, and other hazards. Combat involves using punches and kicks, and Spider-Man can also shoot web projectiles to stun enemies from a distance. The combat is straightforward but requires timing and strategy to avoid taking damage. Boss battles, each level ends with a boss fight against one of the Sinister Six members, Electro, Sandman, Mysterio, Vulture, Hobgoblin, and Dr. Octopus. These battles require players to learn the boss's attack patterns and use Spider-Man's abilities effectively to defeat them. Limited Lives and Continues the game provides a limited number of lives and continues, making it important for players to conserve health and avoid unnecessary risks. The difficulty increases as players progress through the game, with later levels featuring more complex platforming and tougher enemies. Basic Puzzle Elements Some levels feature simple puzzles that need to be solved to progress, such as finding keys or deactivating traps. These puzzles add a bit of variety to the gameplay, but are generally straightforward. Graphics Spider-Man Return of the Sinister Six features 8-bit graphics typical of NES games of the time. The character sprites are recognizable, with Spider-Man and the Sinister Six members being well detailed for the hardware. The levels are themed around the powers and characteristics of each villain, providing visual variety as players advance through the game. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you. 